You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, our fans, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we need to talk about a new couple that could be coming to the CBS soap opera. Right now, Kyle Abbott just got kicked to the curb by Audra Charles. She seems really, truly done with the Abbott hunk. But who else in town is of the right age for Kyle and who's also single? Well, we've got an idea of who his next big romance might be, and we want to dig into all that. But first, please click subscribe so you don't miss anything. All right. So we've got a Kyle Abbott spoiler that's of interest this week, actually about Summer as well. It says on Tuesday, the 23rd, that Summer and Kyle start a fresh chapter, right? Um, hmm. That might mean something different to each of them, though. You know, for starters, all of you know that Kyle's all alone right now. He's been with Audra ever since he kicked Summer out and told her they were done. That was back in June 2023. If you recall, Kyle immediately, like the same episode, got in bed with Audra. So they were together then roughly about seven months. He only took a five second break between his wife and his rebound. It was all very sketchy and earned him a slap from summer when she figured out how fast he had fallen on top of Audra. But now Audra is not under Kyle anymore and she doesn't plan to be ever again, according to her recent statements. She's cutting her losses where men are concerned, dumping both Kyle and Tucker McCall on the same day and for nearly the same reason. She can't trust them and thinks they're going to sabotage her ambitions with their recklessness. That's the situation Kyle finds himself in as we start the new week on Young and the Restless. As for Summer Newman, she's doing great. Kyle may be at a low, but his ex-wife, she is on a roller coaster heading up to a high. Sharon Newman just broke up with Chance Chancellor, so now Summer can pursue him with clean hands because she won't be breaking up a relationship. And Summer already scored one dinner date with Chance with plans to see each other again. Her mind is on the future, on this brand new possible romance, not on her ex-husband who pushed her away and chose another woman. So you can easily see Summer and Kyle are not at the same points in life, not at all. So when Kyle and Summer talk about a fresh chapter this week, I don't think it's going to be about their romantic lives. There is no romance left for them as it stands at this moment. Kyle, he may hope there's a chance to reconcile, but Summer, she's got her mind on another man. So instead, I think with Audra out of Kyle's life and that chapter behind him, he and Summer can be more amicable since he's not with the one he cheated on her with, but... I don't see romance blossoming for them again, at least not for a while. I think Skyle is dead and buried for the foreseeable future. So that being said, where does that leave Kyle Abbott in the romance department? There's literally almost no one else in town he can date. Sally Spector is single, but she's smitten with Adam Newman again. Phyllis is single, but her and Kyle, ugh, can you imagine? I mean, that's too over the top even for Phyllis, right? Sharon's single, but she's getting closer to Nick Newman again. And also that would just be kind of weird, right? Kyle dating his ex father-in-law's ex-wife and possible future girlfriend, weird. There's Dr. Elena Dawson, but she is very rarely seen. Uh, Plus, I mean, I'd hate to stick her with someone like Kyle. She deserves better, much better than him or Nate or most of the other dudes in Genoa City. But there's one young woman I can think of who is the perfect age to date Kyle They've never been involved. They've never dated. They share no family in common, no ex-spouses or boyfriends or girlfriends in common. And there's really no competition to date this young woman right now. So Kyle would have a direct shot if he meets her and decides, hey, I want to go for that. 
Of course, the problem is right now she's kind of crazy and he can only see her during visiting hours. Yep, I'm talking about Claire Grace, a.k.a. Eve Nicole Howard, namesake of her grandmothers, Nikki Newman and Eve Howard. I mean, sure. Claire's a hot mess right now, and romance is probably the last thing on her mind, as it should be. I mean, her insane great aunt slated to break out of jail and come to Genoa City for some more Newman-flavored revenge during February sweeps. But assuming Claire survives all that, gets through therapy, she will be free to start her new life in town without any of the baggage she had with Nutty Jordan. Maybe Kyle meets her at the coffee shop, thinks she's pretty, and asks her out. The question is, would Kyle still date her if he finds out what she's done to the Newmans? My guess, yeah. Yeah, I think he would. I mean, he married Summer, and she's a hot mess of schemes and bad decisions in her past, and he believes she'd changed, and then... She kind of proved in some ways that she hadn't falling back in with her mom, you know, and then Kyle's own mom, Diane Jenkins, faked her own death to try and frame innocent people for her murder. I mean, really, Kyle can't exactly criticize her actions. Kyle himself doesn't have clean hands. He's done shady stuff. So all that aside, I could see Kyle and Claire being a very interesting couple. I mean, other than Kyle already being married to one Newman granddaughter, you know, Victor might turn up his nose if the abbot pursues yet another Newman granddaughter, but it's better than someone nefarious like Ashlyn Locke or say Billy Abbott, right? You know, we'll see. Claire first needs to survive February sweeps. And then she needs to complete this round of intensive psychotherapy that she's in. But if things do go well for Summer and Chance and this crush that she's had, you know, manifest into this big romance that is going to leave Kyle single, lonely, and maybe impatiently looking and waiting for love by the time that Claire finally gets out of the psych ward and comes home to join the fold of the Newman family. So what do you guys think? Would you like to see Kyle and Claire? What do you think about that possible pairing? Please drop your comments. Please click subscribe if you haven't and come back soon. I'm here talking YNR with you guys seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.